This is the rotation part of the transformation geometry questions. Uh, the way I've lined it out is a typical kind of question. They're asking you to rotate clockwise by 120 degrees from P to P1. So you'd all agree that's a kind of a typical thing you're asked, isn't it? Yes? Yes. Okay. Right. We have point P. We have P1. The first thing we're going to try and get is our rotation point. Okay, which is going to be vital to answering this question. Now, the rotation point is going to be, well, I would know just by looking, it's going to be somewhere around here, because we're going to have to take this object and swing it around clockwise. So you should kind of eye up where your rotation point should be. The second thing to take into consideration is that we're going to have to create a triangular shape. Okay? The rotation point being the apex of the triangle. Now we're told we're rotating by 120 degrees, so that means that 120 degrees is going to be the angle here. That leaves two angles on the bottom left and bottom right. They're going to be equal. So 180 degrees are in a circle, 60 degrees are left over after this 120, so that means this is going to be 30, and this is going to be 30. Isn't that right? This is point P, and this is point P1. So we have to create that triangle. It's going to be at a kind of an angle here, but the same angles have been used. So what we'll do is we'll join P to P1. That'll be our base. We can do that. What we know is that the angle of P is 30, and we know the angle of P1 is 30, and where they meet is going to be point R. So we'll do that by using our set square. You can use your protractor either. Thirty degrees in both directions. And where they cross over, that's point R. So that's my rotation point. So the rotation point is vital. That's where the compass is going to go when I'm swinging everything around. Okay? We do this in stages. Point P is already moved. It's going to P1. So I'll go up towards the, the roof of the little house that I'm drawing. I swing it around. And it's going to be somewhere along that arc that I just swung. How do I know where it stops? Well, everything has to go by 120 degrees. So we go to the top point. Everything also has to go through the rotation point. The rotation point is common to all these when you're rotating them. So we get the top, we pass it through R. And then it's going to come out the other side. And it's going to come out at an angle of 120 degrees. Alright, so we need our protractor for that. Centre of the protractor goes on point R. Line up our zero. Measure 120. And then draw the line coming out. Intersects it here. So that's the side wall of the house. Created. Now we're going to repeat that process. So I do the apex of it next. The roof of the house. Join it to point R. Bring that line off at 120 degrees. Okay, comes out that way. Don't forget to rotate the point around. Okay, begin to piece it together now. Move on to the left hand side. Again, go to point R. Swing it around. Join that corner to point R. Come out at 120 degrees from that. Mark off your point. I would think that if you kind of keep putting the lines together as you're drawing them, it takes shape and it's a bit easier to follow it. Now we'll do the bottom corner. That's the last one I'll have to do. Swing it around. Go to the bottom corner, join it to R, go off at 120, sit there, and that means we can complete our shape.
Okay, so that's that house shape rotated by 120 degrees from P to P1.